Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Boy Day Cat. Today we are back with another What I Eat in a Week. Just a few disclaimers. Obviously, I'm not a nutritionist, right? I just kind of eat what feels good to me. I try to do intuitive eating with a mind towards healthful eating. Like, I'm not purely like, let's eat whatever you want. Um, but I do believe that it's very important to satisfy your cravings and listen to your body. You're not gonna eat the same amount every day. You're not gonna crave the same things every day. Just go with the flow and be kind to yourself. I feel like I don't have much to say in this intro other than uh, you're gonna be able to tell in this intro and over the course of the video that I've been doing a lot of renovation in my room. It's been helping with the stir crazy feeling due to quarantine and just some emotional healing due to everything that has been going on. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say for an intro. Without further ado, welcome to everything that I ate last week. Someone's mowing their lawn. Anyway, so good morning. Um, <sighs> I initially was going to go do Buna Cafe today and grab brunch and then do a live stream with it. And I'm still gonna do that, but due to, I think, coronavirus, they pushed back their opening, like, for the day. They usually open at 11 on Saturdays and they're opening at 12 today. And I got hungry. So since I'm not gonna be able to eat until like 1.30 or so, I made myself some avocado toast with kimchi. It looks like this, kind of like abstract art. So I'm enjoying this, but I'm looking forward to Ethiopian food brunch. During this whole week, you're gonna see a lot of painting, construction, whatever, so just a heads up. I completely forgot to record the Ethiopian food I got. I got like typical Ethiopian food with the injera and nine different little dishes, and I did a live stream. You you might have seen the live stream. Um, if not, I also have a review of the same restaurant. It's called Buna Cafe. It's in my Is It Hype series. It's really good, but that's what I had for lunch, and it, it was quite filling. It was a lot, um, but it's been... Five hours since then I went on a bike ride I did some like face treatments um, and then I just got hungry out of nowhere like like n like n I want food now I want something more hydrating because of my bike ride so I think I'm just gonna get some frozen berries and put some yogurt on top maybe granola we'll see this is precisely what I was craving um, this is silk soy yogurt. It's the strawberry flavor. My favorite flavor is like tropical like mango pineapple But um, they only had strawberry when I went to the grocery store. This is Elizabeth granola It's the original flavor and then we have some blackberries frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries on the bottom I had dinner with my family, which was mostly grilled random veggies, some really bomb baba ganoush that my mom made, and I scooped it all up with this, I don't know what it's called in English, but I just call it paper bread. It's bread, but it's so, so freaking thin. So I've been painting my room and spackling and doing some other things, and I'm having a treat break. I'm having this Haagen-Dazs coconut caramel ice cream bar. It's delicious. <sighs> my mom. <gasps> what? Oh my god! Has this ever happened? What? My mom bought these and they're so good. That's what I was trying to say. It's decapitated! This is gonna be a less enjoyable experience than I imagined. Peace. Hey guys, good morning. I'm actually going on a bike ride in a little bit, but I wanted to have some breakfast, something really light. So I cut myself up some watermelon since it is the summer. Boom. I'm gonna be having this big bowl of watermelon, doing some cleaning, washing my face, whatever. And once I'm digested enough, I'm going on a bike ride. Okay, so uh, I think you guys know I'm not fruitarian or anything. I'm not into like fruit meals. I think fruit meals are, are not, not the way to go. However, I do believe in listening to your body. So I went on a bike ride, I did a little bit of a hit workout, and I came back still craving fruit. So, um, I cut up for myself some peaches, some apricot, and some strawberry. But I also am making myself some pasta salad with some bonza pasta. And once I mix it and let it sit in the fridge for a little bit while I shower and stuff, I'm probably gonna have that next. I'm on my way to see my boyfriend, which I haven't been able to do much since quarantine. Um, but on my way, I'm munching on this pasta salad that I made. It's just bonza pasta with some broccoli, cabbage, and carrots. And the dressing is zesty Italian. I like to use bonza in pasta salad because the protein in the chickpea flour keeps you fuller longer. Come say hi. YouTube misses you. They don't miss me. Yeah, they do. They say they do. I'm with Roberto. What's good? 
Hey guys, it's me, Biggie Bodega Cat. Biggie Bodega Cat. Rebecca. No, it's the other way around. Yeah, I know. That's but, what I, it felt. <laughs> it felt strange when I was saying it. We um we drove up to a Starbucks. We ordered it through the mobile app. I don't know how Starbucks is where you guys are, but over here we don't really have drive-throughs. So what the Starbuckses are doing is they're basically putting up a desk at the door and then all you're allowed to do is order on your mobile app and then walk up and grab your drink. So that's what you did. I got an iced soy latte uh, with two shots of espresso and he got a uh, hot soy latte with two shots of espresso. Yep. As usual. Okay, so ignore the rumbling in the background. That's just the fridge, I'm sorry. Uh, for dinner, I guess. Yeah, this is dinner. I have some leftover Ethiopian food. We have some Cabbage and mushrooms. I'm not quite sure what the orange thing is, but the darker red orange thing is spicy lentils. We have some beets. This is kale and tofu salad. And then to scoop it all up, we have this injera. Ta-da! For dessert, I'm having some of this so delicious dark chocolate truffle ice cream. The container looks weird and short because I cut a slice off to make my boyfriend a um, ice cream cookie sandwich, so. Good morning! I just wanted something really quick, really lazy uh, to eat, so I just made myself a single piece of avocado toast. I'll probably eat again later, soon-ish. But I just have a lot to do today. I wanted something fast, so avocado toast on Dave's Killer Bread. We also have a lot of avocados, so I'm trying to use them up. Here's my lunch. It's just some pasta salad, same as yesterday, and it has carrots, broccoli, and purple cabbage, and the dressing is just Italian robust dressing, you know, the basic wishbone one. Pretty easy, but filling and yummy. <sighs> All right, so I just finished a bike ride. I just biked for four miles, and then I did a HIIT workout. I was craving fruit, which is good because I don't have uh, any food meal prepped other than that pasta salad, so I am gonna go get some groceries after this and do some meal prepping, uh, but until then, because I'm hungry, I'm eating some fruit and some peanut butter, so let me show you. Here we go, we have one pear, one small peach, uh, two strawberries, and some peanut butter to balance out all the carbs. This way you're just fuller longer. So if you're having a little bit of trouble staying full after a snack, just pair the carb with some protein or some fat, in this case, mostly fat, a little bit of protein, and you should be good to go. I am so excited for dinner, I am so excited. Okay, let me walk you through it. Okay, so we have pretty basic, we have some rice, you know, bulk it up, carb it up, all that stuff. Then we have some kimchi, probiotic spice, amazing. And then we have this, this is what I'm most excited about. We just have some veggies, and then the crumbles are light life crumbles. I used to be a Beyond Meat crumbles fan, and then I turned into a Guardian crumble fan, but I think light life crumbles take the cake. They're much more flavorful, I like them, anyway. Um, and the sauce I put on them, very like Asian inspired, some red pepper paste, some sugar syrup, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, sesame oil. The sauce is so good and like I don't even have a recipe for it, I just dump every time. I'll try to make a recipe because it makes like stir fries and stuff really easy to have this like quick sauce you can put together. Mmm, so good. So I was doing my nails and as I was doing my nails, I couldn't stop thinking about ice cream. So as soon as my nails were dry, I got ice cream. You guys know the drill by now. It's the coconut caramel um, and it's covered in chocolate. You know, one of the upsides and downsides of living with my parents for a few months is the fact that they can afford to buy treats like this on a regular basis. And if it exists in the house, I'm gonna eat it. Oopsies. Why hello, we have another non-breakfasty breakfast today. Pretty basic, same stuff I had yesterday. It's just the veggies with that random sauce I made and some edamame and some light life crumbles and a side of white rice. When I got home, I made myself a burger from this noble sun-dried tomato burger and it was on Ezekiel bread. It had some ketchup mustard, some pickles, onions, and tomatoes. So, I got home from work stressed due to reasons personal to someone else, so I'm not gonna say anything about it, but I was so hungry, I scarfed down that burger, and then I was like, oh, I'm craving something sweet. So, I made myself a bubble tea. I have been getting better at this, although I'm gonna start like researching how to make uh, black tea concentrate so this can be even stronger. One of the changes I make that I do like is instead of making sugar syrup for the bubble tea, I started using agave to put the bubbles in after I boil them, and it tastes a lot better. 
All right, here's my dinner. You probably can't tell, but I spiced it up a little bit. Not real spice. I added some hummus because I wasn't really feeling the Italian dressing today. And it tastes so good. So I guess this pasta salad is dressed with Italian dressing and hummus. Pretty yummy. Made it more creamy. For dessert, I had this gluten-free quinoa crisp bread. And on top, I spread some chocolate spread. It's kind of like Nutella, except it's dairy-free. And you can find it in a lot of Jewish stores. It was so good. Like, the sweetness bounced out with the saltiness of the crisp bread. Definitely recommend. Here's my beautiful breakfast. We have some frozen berries to munch on with some chickpea pancakes, peanut butter, and agave. I used to use Remy's recipe for chickpea pancakes, which is also really good. Um, she goes by Veggiekins. You can find it on her blog. But this time, I just did a regular pancake recipe that I love, and I just substituted half of the flour with chickpea flour, and I like this recipe a lot. I think I'm going to be using it from now on. I almost forgot to start recording, but here we have that Light Life Beefy Crumble thing with veggies, some basic white rice, and some kimchi. And this is my lunch. A kind of serious question, can you be eating too much fermented foods? Because lately I've been into kimchi, yogurt, and kombucha. Some days I have all three of them in the same day, and I don't know if my digestion likes it but it tastes so good. Like, I really like fermented foods. It's so good. This little sweet treat is a Starbucks almond milk cafe mocha. And I've had the little bottles before, but I found a big bottle at the grocery store. So naturally I bought it so I can ration myself little cups when I'm feeling like something sweet and coffee-like and I don't feel like waiting for coffee to become iced myself, you know? And it's very creamy and good. Okay, so here's dinner. Let me explain. So in this little baguette piece, I guess, we have some avocado, pickle, and mustard with uh, this burger right here, the Noble Sun-Dried Tomato Burger. Now that I've eaten it two days in a row, um, I had a sample of this, I think, one time at an expo, and I liked it, but honestly, I don't like it that much, so I don't think I'm going to buy it again. And then... On the side, we have some steamed broccoli, cauliflower, and asparagus. And we also have this pack of bisley. And this is the pizza flavor. I'm also having this mango LaCroix, which is currently my favorite flavor. My only question is, why green? Mangoes should not be eaten while green. And I don't understand why they made the mango LaCroix green. And then for dessert, I had a piece of this Choco Love crystallized ginger dark chocolate. Good morning, it's breakfast time, and this morning I have some fruit that I actually chopped up to take to work two days ago, and then I didn't get to eat it because shit got crazy, long story. Um, but it's still in the work fridge, so I'm eating it today. And I have pancakes that I made yesterday, the chickpea protein ones, right here. And I'm gonna top the pancakes with this nut butter. It's discontinued, which makes me feel so sad because I love this nut butter and um, this is the chocolate flavor. So that is my breakfast. Boom. Oh, also my coffee this morning was different. So instead of flavoring my coffee with creamer as I usually do, I flavored it with the Starbucks mocha drink that I bought yesterday and it was really good. Okay. I will catch you later because I'm really busy. Goodbye. Okay. So I stayed at work for like an hour or so longer than I usually do, so I got pretty hungry. I usually only bring one meal to work because I come home around three or four so I could eat. But I got carried away with work today. I was excited with a, on a project that I was doing. Um, so I came home famished and I didn't know what I was gonna eat. Thankfully, my mom was making something vegan. Ah. Uh, so here we have um, a cucumber that I'm munching on, some tomatoes. But the main event is this lentil and potato dish. Don't ask me what it's called, I have zero clue. It looks like some lentils, some potatoes, some fried onions, green thing could be parsley? I don't know. I don't know where she got the recipe, but. Mmm, mmm. Hello, my friends. I am chillaxing, you know, having a chill day, very rare. In fact, I feel very strange when I don't have a very long to-do list to do. Like, what am I supposed to do with myself? Who knows? I'm having a snack. It is an avocado toast. 
right there with no probiotics on top, no kimchi, no sauerkraut because I think I need to tone back on the probiotics. I didn't think you can overdo on probiotics, but my digestion was telling me otherwise. And then I have a side of peach iced tea. Cheers. While this may look like toxic sludge, it is in fact a chickpea coconut curry that my mom made. Um, she put a little bit too much coconut, but I'm not complaining because it is still very delicious and I'm very grateful. And this is what I'm having for dinner. Hello, hello, if you recognize this outfit, it's the outfit I filmed the intro and outro in. I'm having breakfast, so non-breakfasty. We're gonna have some steamed broccoli, uh, cauliflower and asparagus, sprinkled with some salt and pepper. This is uh, Indian rice that my mom made yesterday, and these are Gardein beefless tips. <laughs> I totally just knocked this uh, little broccoli onto the floor. My bad. Here's a little better view maybe of the food. Ta-da! And just like for no reason, I decided that I'm gonna go live on YouTube and hang out with you guys while I eat this. So see you in real life, in your past. First off, I have to showcase this beautiful little plant that I just got. I'm looking for a new apartment and this is part of me, you know, bringing that apartment into existence. It is so darn beautiful. That being said, I'm eating lunch. Lunch is the rest of those chickpea pancakes I made the other day with some peanut butter, some agave, and a white peach that I sliced up. And what I like to do actually is I like to put the peach in the middle of the pancake and then fold it and eat them like tacos, like this. While I'm not a Daya hater, I'm sad to say they have once again disappointed me. This is not the first time I've had this. I guess I forgot how much I didn't like it, but I was craving something more comforting, comforting so I made myself some mac and cheese. And it looks like this, which honestly doesn't look that bad, but it tastes strangely lemony and the noodles definitely feel gluten-free. Additionally, this little bowl is three servings for a total of like a thousand calories. So the servings are small, the calories are ridiculous, the taste is not great, the texture is mediocre, would not buy again. I guess I normally put reviews in my new things I tried this month video, but technically this is the second time I've eaten this, I just forgot how shitty it is. Am I gonna eat it anyway? Yes, because I cooked it. That is all I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you got some meal ideas or just enjoyed hanging out with me. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And if there's anything that I eat in the video that you want a recipe for, then let me know and I'll try to put it on my blog. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex with Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.